Suez, thank you again for being with us on the show. Uh, you are the Chief Revenue Officer of Axiom Space, which is building the next International Space Station. Since our last interview, you have sent people to the International Space Station. What can you tell us about that? Thank you for having me again and this time in person, which is great. You know, in April, Axiom sent our first mission uh, to the ISS, which was also the first all-civilian crewed mission to the ISS. It was four individuals representing four com countries, uh, and they went for a 10-day mission. It actually ended up being a 15 to 17-day mission because their trip was extended uh, before, because of weather for coming back. And it was a very successful mission uh, on all fronts. Uh, first and foremost, we are a private company working with the International Space Station and the different countries and agencies that run it to take a all-private crew uh, up to the ISS and live and work with the other professional astronauts that are on station right now. So can we consider them as tourists going to space? Uh, correct. I, you know, I wouldn't use the word tourist. I'd say explorer. Uh, this is very early days of space exploration, particularly private space exploration. And Correct. They paid their own way. They, they are customers of Axiom, but each individual uh, went through significant training, uh, a year's worth of training in Houston at NASA as a normal astronaut, professional astronaut would go through because they're going to the International Space Station. So not just any tourist can just go up there, right? So if they are, if they have the means and they purchase with us, they still have to be trained and selected like a NASA astronaut to go up and be on station. So the training is very intense. And one of the four individuals is a former astronaut who had been to station multiple times. So he was our commander, he is our commander, uh, and Axiom employee. So the four of them went up, but they were trained and led uh, like any other crew would be. But the ticket price is very high. I know you cannot comment on this, but we have read that it's, it's around $55 million for each uh, individual. Why is that? I can't comment on how much it is, but it is high. You know, uh, space is expensive. And the other reason I wouldn't use the word uh, tourism is it's not just private individuals. Uh, we work with countries and send uh, professional uh, astronauts. Actually, the next several announcement we, announcements we've made since our mission are all with countries uh, who are, will be sending astronauts up from anywhere, anywhere from a 10-day to 180-day mission on station. And they're training with us, um, just like their colleagues, the other professional astronauts uh, would. And we also work with corporations who do everything from um, research uh, and science to sending people up as well. So again, that's why I wouldn't use that word. And from a price standpoint, it depends on the mission and it depends on the customer. What's next for you? When is the next mission? The next mission will be um, early in 2023, and that will take another crew of four people up, and we have another two missions after that. And what you'll see is we will have more private um, individuals, but more professional uh, national astronauts where the countries are our customers. And the ones we've announced so far are Italy, Hungary, and UAE. And we have a few more announcements coming in the next couple of weeks, uh, and that is a big part of our business.